Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the info day of Horizon Europe Cluster 4 for the calls 2024. My name is Matthias Redman, and I'm a communication advisor at the European Health and Digital Executive Agency. And it's my pleasure to moderate for you this welcome session. We have two days filled with information on many calls in this cluster um, prepared for you. The speakers are ready and eager to present to you their topics. And to begin with, I would like to um, have our keynote speakers give their welcome addresses. And first off, we have Marina Zanki, Director at the European Health and Digital Executive Agency, to give us her speech. Marina, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Matthias, and good morning to everybody. And thank you very much for being here with us today. On behalf of the agency, Hadea, I would like to welcome all of you in this Info Days for the 2024 calls of Horizon Europe Class 4 digital industry and space. Uh, as you know, the agency Hadea is implementing a great part of cluster four, together, of course, uh, with our lead parent DGs, uh, DGRTD, DigiConnect, DEFIS, and DigiGrow. This meeting, I really want to underline, is that these two days have been prepared for you potential applicants, because we really want to inform you to give you all the possible information of the upcoming calls or the topics in 2024, the evaluation, giving information on the award process, and most important, to give you the opportunity to ask all the questions and clarify all possible doubts you may have. As Matthias mentioned, we will concentrate uh, the two days on more specific uh, information on the different calls to, and we can, will cover together with the Commission, uh, and thanks for that, the European Commission colleagues, uh, all the six uh, destinations of the calls of 2024. In particular today, the Info Day will be dedicated to destination one and two, and the focus uh, will be on building a competitive digital low carbon and circular industry, while of course ensuring the uh, sustainable supply of raw material. So quite a challenge. But if we think of in these days, uh, the twin uh, between uh, green and digital transition and the resilience of the value chain, we give also, it's not only a challenge, but we give also the opportunity to Europe and to the researchers in Europe to lead the technological transformation and the industrial changes at global level. And this will make Europe more competitive and more resilient. As it was mentioned before, the second day will be more dedicated to the remaining um, destinations from three to six. And they will cover uh, technologies, innovative technologies. Everybody has learned about the importance in the fields of artificial intelligence, the advanced computing, the quantum technologies. All this is really defining the world we are living and making the difference for the future in Europe in particular. And of course, I can't uh, not mention the space research, and there will be calls, uh, there will be the presentation of calls managed by ADEA together with the EU Agency for Space uh, Program, the USPA, for all space applications, uh, services, and innovative capabilities. As you may know, ADEA as an agency deals with many kinds of stakeholders, depending on the different parts of the programs or different programs. So we work really hands in hands with the research organizations, with industry, but also with the SMEs, with academia, and will add a, with many other stakeholders, which gives you uh, the possibility to exchange also with us uh, our lessons learned, our sharing knowledge, which is an important part of all these programs managed by ADEA. 
I just want to mention that ADEA is not only dealing with cluster part or cluster four Horizon Europe mini research, but we have also the responsibility to implement many other programs like SEF, like the uh, DEP, and uh, also in research, we have the important pillars of health. And I always mention the important synergies between all these programs, research, not research, health, and digital. And our portfolio is quite wide. Uh, just to give you some uh, data, if you allowed me, the Cluster 4 Horizon Europe, we count 343 projects in our portfolio, funded by together with the EC fund for a total amount of 2 billion. They are impressive numbers. And it will grow up even more with the current call that uh, they are still open and grants are in preparation, where we are expecting 206 new grants, which meaning an amount in budget of uh, a bit less than 900 million. So all this creates a lot of knowledge and experience, and we are here to share with you, ask your question, and don't miss also this afternoon session that will be dedicated on all cross-cutting issues. Another data, as my colleagues told me, there are more than 1,000 people connected, which is a self-evidence of the importance of these two days meeting. With this, I conclude just to thank you again for your participation. I thank all the colleagues who contributed to make it possible in ADEA and in the Commission services. And I really wish you all the best to get the best and the profit of these two days. And I hope to see lots of you in, as new beneficiaries of ADEA. Many thank, and that's all. A successful day is two days. <laughs> to all of you. Thank you, Matthias. Thank you, Marina, for this extensive and extensive overview across uh, Cluster 4, highlighting what today will bring, and also giving a, a nice overview of uh, the agency Hatea that we're working for. Now, we also have the pleasure to have Peter Dreux with us, even more virtually than Marina and Emerita, because he sent us uh, a short video message that we would like to share with you. Peter Troll from DGRTD. Um, let's see if it's working. It is good that you join these information days dedicated to digital industry and space. We are talking about an investment package of more than 1 billion euro next year. The overall direction is clear, as in the last years, our strategic orientations are about a sustainable economy, so the twin digital and green transition, open strategic autonomy and restoring ecosystems. So we want you to partner up and present in a highly competitive environment the best proposals for these investments. And for that, it's good that you're here and that you listen to the colleagues, to those who have really prepare this investment package and ask your questions. In these topics, proposals, um, every word counts. So uh, on the scope, uh, on the expected impact, please listen carefully, read carefully. That is the best way to succeed. Apropos impact, we are very proud of the public-private partnerships we have in, in this Horizon Europe cluster. These topics in these co-program partnerships are open to everyone. And um, that is something I, I would like to, to underline here as well, as you are going to consider whether or not to make a proposal. So now it's time to um, be careful in reading the um, work program text, uh, listen to what my dear colleagues will explain and ask your questions. And I wish you all for the benefit of all of us for a strong Europe, the very best of success. Thank you. Perfect. So this worked with the first try. So you heard him, every word counts. And he also mentioned 1 billion euro in calls. That's, that's very impressive. Now, um, 
Marina laid out that today we focus on industry primarily um, in for the calls. So we're very lucky to have our next keynote speaker with us. We have Merita Clausen, Director for Investment from DG Grow. Merita, the floor is yours. Good morning and thank you for having me. In addition to being director in, in the investment director in DG Grow, I'm also co-chairing the Digital Industry and Space Cluster, Cluster 4 under Horizon Europe, together with uh, DG RTD, together with uh, DG Connect and with DG DEFIS. In DG Grow, we have delegated most of the implementation of our share of Cluster 4 to Hadea. And today you're going to focus on, as Marina said, on two specific destinations on the cluster four. First, destination one on climate neutral, circular and digitized production. And secondly, on destination two on increased autonomy and key strategic value chains for a resilient industry. And I cannot underline enough how important and crucial these areas are for our value chains and for the manufacturing capacities in Europe. Both the value chains and the capacities of the union to act and to react autonomously and be resilient to external shocks were put to the test by the COVID crisis and by the Russia war of aggression against Ukraine. We became aware how much our strategic autonomy was constrained and how much it's essential for our way of life. Our capacity to craft our own future really relies on maintaining a European edge on critical and emerging technologies. The EU has acted resolutely to ensure that the European industry remains resilient, faced with crisis. As you may know, earlier this year, the Commission proposed a Critical Raw Materials Act and a Net Zero Industry Act. The needs assessments which we built these acts on show that research and innovation play a key role in, in uh, reaching the objectives of those acts. And the European industry really needs your research and your innovation to ensure strategic autonomy in the future. We're looking for ambitious projects that contribute to these policy objectives. To illustrate, in the last years, we have funded projects in raw materials that deals with tailings, with mining waste, with extractive technologies, crushing of the ore, reducing energy, reducing water consumption, reducing CO2 footprint, and also reducing dirt and noise coming from open pit mines. Because your solution can help the EU think differently about domestic mining, moving from the old min image of mining as a dirty activity with high consequences for the environment and building up a new European industry. Because without those critical raw materials, there will be no digital and green transition. We need to build up capacities in the whole value chain, extracting them, processing them, recycling them, and creating alternative supply sources, while of course respecting social, environmental, and biodiversity rules and principles. So we need your feedback to inform future proposals in this and in other areas. And in turn, we will do our very best to prepare the calls so that you can respond to them under the best possible conditions. So as my colleagues have said, today is the chance to ask questions, to clarify doubts, and give us your insights about the overall situation in your respective fields. We value your input very highly, and I wish you a very interesting, very informative, and very fruitful uh, day today and tomorrow. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you, Merit, for giving an overview about, you know, and highlighting the, the goal in strategic autonomy and the role that um, R&I and, and the projects we're funding are going to play in this. Um, so uh, thank you to all our keynote speakers, to Marina Tsanki from Hadea, Peter Drell from DGRTD and Merita Clausen from DG Grow. Please um well let's give them a virtual applause it's uh, it's tricky to uh, to talk in our offices and not have an impression of the audience but we are many people here connected and you gave a nice overview thank you very much for that um please dear audience allow me just a few minutes to um give a few um indications on the remainder of the program and some technical instructions
Um, so starting with the next session, we will use Slido for the Q and A's. So um, please, whenever uh, the Slido um, slide comes up, be ready to submit your questions uh, via Slido. Um, all the questions that will be asked and the answers that will be given will be saved and captured and will be um, put on the funding and tenders portal uh, later on. And after the info day, please consult the funding and tenders portal for any of your questions. Then um, here um, you can see a summary of the rest of the day. So the next session will start at 10 o'clock from 10 to 12 on destination one. Then we have a lunch break. Following at two, we have destination two until 3.40, then a break, and then a cross-cutting session starting at four. Um, between the sessions, especially when there is mentioned break, we will cut the transmission and we will resume the session and the transmission at, at the indicated times. So we will resume at 10 o'clock um, right now. So thank you very much, dear speakers, for your present, for your speeches. And thank you very much, dear audience, for your attention. We will now cut the session and we see you back at 10 o'clock for the next session. Thank you very much. See you later.